Hi guys, I'm Tracy and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be going over my recent CD Japan brush haul and they're mostly the Ehodo WP series which looks like this and most of them are eye brushes with the exception of one and um, it, yeah, it's very unusual for me to like buy up like one one line of brushes but I feel like these brushes are still a good value. They're really high quality. They're beautiful. I like the aesthetic of these. They're short, so, um, but I, I prefer longer handles, but I, I just really like, you know, the way these look. So I was more than happy to get, get what I could. These are the ones that were in stock. And I had a couple already, um, but I'm going to just go over the ones that I got recently. I'm going to start out with the two larger squirrel hair eye brushes and I have b-roll for both of these and when I got them I thought they were the same um, size and everything but okay so this is the S1 and this is the S2. Now the S1 is Canadian squirrel hair and the S2 is gray squirrel hair. S1 is a little larger and has more of a point. And I use both of these. They're both very soft on the eye. Um, not the best at blending. Uh, the gray scroll is a little more flexible and a little bit silkier. But this one is, they're very, very similar. I think, so the S2, I actually had a very, very similar brush from Ehodo. It was in the GS series. And I actually sold that one because I wasn't using it and I didn't realize it was almost identical to this one. But it's okay because I, I really do like um, this brush line from Ehodo. And, um, you know, I do think this is a beautiful brush if you have bigger eyes. I would use it to maybe do the first lay down shade. But if you have bigger eyes, you can use it to get like a one and done look. Um, a little too big for lining and... For me, a little too thin for blending, but you know, if you're someone that likes this shape for blending, it could work. It would be very gentle on the eyes. But I think, if anything, I would probably use the S2 more. Okay, and then the next one is the S3. This is the only one I haven't used yet. And this is made out of Sokoho goat hair, dyed Sokoho goat hair, but it's so soft. It feels you know, like really high quality goat hair. And I liked it because it has that really um, sharp point. So I'll probably use it, you know, in a similar way to maybe put down a transition shade or to line. And I don't see this being prickly at all, or maybe even um, blending the outer part of the eye. But um, I, I really, I'm really glad I decided to get the S3. And then I also got the S4, which is a round ferrule goat hair blending brush. And, um, you know, I, I had B-roll of me using this for, um, to kind of do an all over lid shade with a shimmer and it worked really, really well. And I figured I had one like this, but if I had to compare it, it's probably, and I don't have this brush, it's probably like the, um, the Wayne Goss. 17 it's bigger than the 19 and I believe the 18 has a pinch ferrule but if you're familiar with the Wayne Goss eye blending brushes that's kind of what these remind me of but um, the only one I have that's round from his him is the 19 and this one is bigger but a really solid goat hair blending brush um, probably one of the better ones I have so um, yeah if you're looking for a really you know, really kind of like a workhorse brush that, you know, looks very pretty. I think you'll like the S4. The S4 used to look different. I think it was a Kolinsky packing brush before. And of course that one is um, no longer available, but I'm really glad I ended up getting this one. And then the, okay, I'm gonna just quickly go over the S5 because it's part of the series, but I got this, um, I don't know, maybe five or six months ago. And I really do like this one. It's supposed to be like a dupe for the Chikuhoto GSN 9, which is one of my favorite brushes. But I think this one is actually a little better because it's a little bit fuller. 
So you can do it to lay down, shimmer, pack a, a darker shade on the outside, but you can also blend with it and line. It's very soft, really high quality gray squirrel hairs. And um, I really, I highly recommend this one. And I do recommend it over the G Chikohoto GSN 9. I think this one's a little bit fuller and just a little bit more useful, at least for me. Okay, now the only face brush I got is the Ehodo LQ3. And this is a brush I was most excited about because it's 100% um, it's weasel hair and it's got a lot of hairs. And I did my foundation with it today and it came out so beautiful. I normally don't like a paddle shaped brush to put on my foundation with because generally those type of brushes tend to leave streaks. But this one didn't and it's so soft on the skin. And the, the best thing I like about doing my foundation with this brush is that the size, because it's so thin, it gets into these areas really well. If you want to just do like foundation up to your lash line, you can do that. Cover areas like this, kind of save, your, some, save yourself time having to conceal as much because this can be very specific. And the way I do my foundation, because I do tend to put like whatever the leftovers I have, I tend to put it in like little concentrated areas. I think this is a really good brush for that. And I'm really, really happy with this one. I have another one that is very similar coming from Fude Japan from a, a very kind of like an unknown um, design brush designer, but I'll, I'll save that for when it arrives. But um, I've been eyeing this brush, brush for some time and I'm so glad I have it. And I like that it's a shorter handle because I feel like you have a little bit more control when doing like you know, your foundation and really happy, really silky, really soft. And also it doesn't absorb your foundation. I mean, if you look right here, I don't see any, which is amazing. And I feel like, so, you know, I use pretty nice foundations. So I try not to waste, you know, waste it because I do go through my foundations and I feel like I used a lot less today using this versus a goat hair blending brush or a synthetic uh, foundation brush so um, yeah really really liking this I would say of the Ehodo brushes I got um, so far liking this one the most oh and then oh one more eye brush that I, I forgot about this is the S7 and it's a little domed liner brush made of weasel hair now I think the main reason I got this is because I've been using the Ehodo GS3 so much and I love this brush for liner. Um, the top lash line for, for darkening the lash line, also for doing a little wing. Um, if you're a little new here, I don't use eyeliner much. I use mainly um, eyeshadow to line and I'm really, really enjoying this one. I'm using it every chance I get. So I thought maybe having another one would be good, but this one's not as good. It's not as gentle on the skin. It has less hairs, it's more thin, and yeah, it wasn't as comfortable and it didn't provide as much of a intense application. But you know, if you can't, maybe in the future, if you can't get this one, the GS3, I think this is an, a good alternative, but I'm gonna actually talk about something better soon. But um, I'm glad I have it, but it doesn't outperform the GS3. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys see it see them up close. It's much thinner. It is sharper, so it does provide a thinner line, but not as much intensity. But yeah, very similar in a lot of ways. Okay, so that was the G. No, that was S7. Now the last brush, I actually got a Mizuho brush, and this is not a, a brand that I go for very often because they're very basic, you know, no, nothing fancy about this brush. But I did use it to line um, this eye, I think the lower lash line. It does such a good job. It just really um, made a very thin, intense, dark um, line here, very precise. I used it a little bit on the um, upper lash line and it worked really well for that. It's made of um, weasel and synthetic hairs. So, um, and right now it's such a steal. I think it's with the exchange rate about $10. So, um, you know, if you're looking to add a little bit more to get free shipping or something, I think this is a great one to add to your order. Um, I said this in my previous video, but this, oh, this is the MB133, MB133. If it's wrong, I'll put it down below, but 
these brushes, this brush line, the MB series, they're so sturdy. You know, nothing fancy, but very well made brushes. And I'm really glad that I have, have this one. I tried it. And they have other types of brushes, liner brushes, that I'm going to start looking at because I think this was such a great deal. And so far, I'm super impressed with the performance of this brush. Okay, so I think that's going to do it. I was going to do a few Hakuhodo favorites, but um, I think I'm going to skip that. And then I have another order coming, hopefully, like, in the next couple of weeks. But it's from Fuji Japan, and it hasn't been shipped yet. But I have some really, really exciting ones coming in that order. Um, so I'm really excited to share that with you all. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.